Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero one of one, back again. Uh, the upload to YouTube for the last video is still going on, so I think I've got about an hour left on it. So hopefully by the time this video is done recording, that one will be done uploading, which means that I can then upload this one pretty much immediately. And hopefully it'll be available sometime this evening. Maybe, we'll see. But uh, as you can see, I have done some work, uh, a little bit of work. Um, I figured out something that I could do for those diagonal corners, and I did that by unlocking uh, these. So all of this stuff, and then the little grid that you see up there is just a bunch of beams. And then we can actually uh, zoom in some. So we've got two beams on the bottom that are kind of acting like a rail. And then we've got a couple of uprights, and then we've just got uh, the cross beams just kind of going and, you know, going in where those things kind of end, so that way all the joints kind of line up and everything. Um, I'll have to do something up there as well. You can see that we've got some roof up there as well. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of work has been done, and uh, also that looks a bit different, right? Let's, uh, let's get a little zoom in over here. Do, 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 do. So you can kind of see everything as it's going through here. And I don't know if the train is up at the top or the bottom right now. But it's not a perfect spiral going around. You can see it is a little bit wavy and stuff. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it does work, goes all the way to the top. Um, I've got, uh, if we zoom out a little bit, um, yeah, so you can't see them there for some reason. Uh, but the refineries are there, or not not the refineries, but the, the oil oil rigs are there. So those both the normal ones are pulling off and they're combining into a 600 line. So that's a 300 line, 300 line into a 600 line. Goes down into the back, connects into uh, the train station down there, which you can barely see the roof of. And then on the far side, oh, hey, there's the train. Yeah, there it goes, round in circle. Check it out. It's cool, right? Um, and then there's another oil rig on the back side, which is plugged in. That's the other pure node, which is in on a 600 line by itself. And then of course we've got this one, uh, which is the fourth node and the second pure node over in that area. And then that one is going to be plugged in down here. And we're going to be running a bunch of refineries, turning all of that into fuel and, uh, moving up all of the plastic residue that's left over and uh, having all that move this way. So, yeah, I mean, it's been interesting. I've been uh, busy, <laughs> I guess you could say a little bit. Um, I've also done a little bit of work uh, actually inside the base. And then uh, I made a little door here so we can get out onto the outside of this over here if we need to. I also ran this the roof tiles all the way through. So that's all there. And then we'll just hop over this way. This hasn't changed, uh, still pretty much the same. And I found out something interesting about lights. Uh, I don't know if they're meant to work in the way that I found out that they work, but I mean, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. So you know we've got those light control units, right? And so you need to plug in the power into the light control unit, then control um, connect the light control unit into the light and all that other fun stuff, right? There's actually a different way that you could do it. So what you do is you set up your light control unit and you plug it up into the light, and then you set that light or that group of lights, whatever, to whatever it is they need to be at. And then if you disconnect the light control unit and reconnect with normal power, the lights actually remember the settings. So right now I've got them in light uh, night mode, which is why we don't see anything, but I've got lights in here. I've got three lights over here. Uh, so everything should be pretty well lit. I don't have anything in here yet, but that's because I want to put the floodlights up on there and up on there and just kind of like flood this whole area with light. Uh, oh, we have a ticket. Nice. And we're at 8,454 points per minute. Nice. I'll take that, and we only have two tickets at the moment. It's not the greatest, but you know, should be fine. Okay, so uh, let's take a look over here. So this is this temporary setup is still there, um, and then I've built kind of on the inside, and those are missing because we don't have the inverted diagonals yet, or inverted triangles, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have 
piped over all of the oil and all of the fuel over here. So as soon as I hook those up to something, uh, we will have both oil and fuel. I want to put a bunch of uh, containers kind of like along the wall here. And then maybe we'll use the space kind of like in here for actual, you know, building and stuff or not, not building, but, you know, for like making parts. Okay, so, um, yeah, and I've got this side pretty much run all the way through, so I just need to connect pipes as soon as I get stuff there. Um, I still have to run over some water, and I'm probably going to run that down on the bottom here, depending on where I can get the, uh, the water to connect that. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to have to unlock the tier two power plugs that go on the walls um, for the pumps on the pipes that are going up right now. So I think that's the thing that I'm going to have to do. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we have our station up here. So here it is. Oh, hey, it's taking off. Uh, let's hop in here, and we'll just kind of watch it go down. And we're just going around in just a really big circle. Basically all it is. It's a little little bumpy. It's not as smooth as I wanted, but... I mean, I would need to be able to tilt the foundations at a certain degree in order for this to work properly. Um, and since I don't have that, you know... Or at least I don't think I have that. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. But yeah. And then uh, it comes back down into here. And it just happens to go like through everything. Like we're just barely making it under the roof here. Which is amazing. And it's like everything just... It's just perfect. Like everything just works. And I'm pretty happy with that. And so then... Now this doesn't have anywhere to go. So it's still full of uh, oil and whatnot. And then this is also full of oil and whatnot. So if I can hop up here and then maybe if it'll, yeah. So now if we look in here, this is full, uh, 2,400 crude oil in there. And I don't have anywhere to put it right now because I don't have any collection over there, but yeah. And then, another thing that I wanted to look into, and I don't know if I can do this or not, but um, if I go into here, we have these beam supports, right? Now, it doesn't look like I can put those on the bottom of this. Like, it doesn't let me, like, flip it around. So, I mean, I could put, like, regular connectors and just kind of stick it on the bottom. It's not exactly what I want, but, I mean, it might... It might be good enough. And then, um, I mean, I'm gonna have to get a little creative with where I put all of the refineries. So we're gonna have to get them really, really close together and pretty much line this wall and that wall in there once we get rid of uh, the fuel generators there, because we're gonna set those up over there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I could do like a long beam connector here. Uh, make sure this is like straight, there we go. And then get this, like, why does that not, it's like not straight. It's like, dude, what are you doing? But whatever. Okay, so we'll put this kind of in the middle, and then maybe it is where it is supposed to be. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Beam connector. There we go. Double connector. Okay, so that can go kind of there, right? And then what I wanted to do is we would then run a beam from here over to here and then put a little box on there, right? And then we would run another beam diagonally down. Now this one, maybe we can't do that because it's so close to the ground, but we would kind of put it down here like that or put it down like below here or something like that. So that way, at least it looks sort of like it's being supported by something, right? So that's kind of what I was thinking. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, we'll just kind of throw that in there for now. 
But, and then, uh, structurally speaking, I mean, this would, I mean, it probably wouldn't be strong enough to hold up the, the train, but, you know, it's, it's close enough, I think. So let's get up here and uh, see if we can do the same thing over here. And then over here we'll have a little bit more room uh, to place some stuff. And then we'll go over to here, roughly in the center. Yeah, so there's kind of like a seam here, so you can kind of tell where the two tracks meet, which is nice. Um, then we just need to do that. Just kind of stick that in there, on there, somehow. All right, so now that we've got that on there, we can kind of put this directly over, which is here. Hang on, where's this one? So that's here, so one, two. Yeah, so it's gotta go there. Okay, and then we can kind of put that up onto there, and then run another one of these little beamy things down onto here, and we can go down, I mean, I kind of want to put it like right on the corner here, but it's hard to tell where the line is. Yeah, like right there, right? Right. And then we can run this down onto here, but of course it's not gonna go directly on there because that's kind of in the way. So you need to place these things last, which is kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, so once we have that on there, then we can put this on here and it'll kind of hide if I can get it on there, right? I mean, I could do it diagonally, right? Sort of works, right? But yeah, so something kind of like that, in which case at least it's like sort of being held up. Um, and then this, I think I need to make this come out one more. Is that as far as that'll go? Dude. Okay, never mind. Oh, another thing I noticed is that whenever the train like goes off, it gets like a really quick beep of the horn, which is kind of cool. Uh, okay, so now we can take this out. Get this little beam connector in here. And then grab this guy, run that straight over into here. No, there. Grab this beam connector, throw that on there. And then we're going down like three. So one, two, three, so like the bottom of the third. Kind of, sort of, anyways. And then, so if we go one, two, and then three, put that there, beam connector on there. So, like that, right? So I think this will make it look a little better. Um, there's a lot of work to do to replace all these things, though. But I think, I think overall, it should work out pretty nicely. I don't, I don't like where that block is. It's as far as that'll go, really. Uh, okay, fine. So that's just gonna go there anyways. All right, so, um, and then hopefully with this, we can avoid kind of uh, getting, interfering with that. So I kinda wanna keep that there just in case the power does go out. Um, like, like we know that it is want to do. Um, but yeah. So let's see, where is the train now? Oh, right there, okay. Good, because I'm going to run up the track. If you don't mind. All right, good, go. So that looks like it is nice and supported. That is nice and supported. All right. So now, um, this is gonna be interesting, but I'm gonna have to work like on the bottom of these things and also avoid the train at all costs. But luckily we can walk on these beams, so shouldn't be too much of an issue, but I need to hop down and get this one in there from the bottom. Now, something different here, and maybe I should actually redo these first, 
is we have like an outer wall here, which kind of goes up. So I think I need to put those in there first before I do these, just to make sure that everything just kind of lines up the way it's supposed to. I mean, we can keep that piece on there, but as far as this goes and as far as this one goes, I mean, it is a spire, so we're planning on, you know, doing stuff with it. All right, so let me see. So with this, how do I want to do this? Um, okay, so I'm thinking if I'm coming out of that hypertube at like breakneck speeds and I run into that wall, uh, we're probably going to die. So I want to try to avoid that if I can. And then we'll run that up as far as we can go. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Of course, we'll have to do something about that. This guy. That's going to be fun. Um, but I suppose at the very least we can get this thing going up. And then we can figure out what to do with the power here. Which I'm thinking we could just replace with a double-sided power plug put it over here somewhere I don't know right there that'll work right so you can go onto here and then you uh, can't connect there but that's fine and then that can go up to there and then that can plug into that and then we should be able to get rid of this entirely and not lose power anywhere Okay, and it's taken off again. So it's, oh, come on, why, what, why? Power just died. We're full of fuel, like what, what are you doing? What are you doing here? What, what, what? Okay, so that's still going through, right, right? Yeah, you're empty, you've got plenty of fuel, so what died? And why? Unless, um, is it because that's not plugged in? No, that shouldn't matter. And that's coming down from here. But I mean, we should have power up there, right? <sighs> Why are you the way you are? Okay, if we plug this in, then what? Do we get power? We do not. Okay, so... Why is this... Not working. We've got fuel. All of those are good to go. It's making a lot of power. Okay. Did something happen with the coal? making me dizzy going around this thing. Are we there yet? Okay, we're there. Unfortunately, this is not working. So, why is the thing not doing what it's supposed to do? It's my first question. And if you hear a squeak, that is my space bar. It does make a squeak when I press it. Uh, unless I press it like perfectly down straight, in which case then it won't. But in all other cases, if you're off by a little bit, it makes a little squeak. I don't think that really matters, but uh, okay.
So I mean, it's it's hard to tell like what happened. Like we went from 1650 all the way down to like 924. So we lost like 700 megawatts. And it looks like that's when my biofuel burners kicked on and then they kind of died. So I'm thinking something happened with the uh, the coal. But I mean, there shouldn't be anything over there that could even impact that like at all. So why you no work, sir? This is like such a long way. Super exciting. Okay. And we can't take that down, so we have to take the ladder down. Okay. So there's that. And then we'll head over to here. And we'll head over to here. All right. So we've got all of the things, right? Like, there was no reason for the power. Hey, why would you do that? Space elevator, just bumping me off to the side like that? Rude. Okay. Nope, not high enough of a jump. There we go. All right. Okay, so here we are, over at the coal. We have all of the coal coming through, yes? Okay, so if we disconnect this, and then we turn this on. Okay, so those are 900 megawatts. Okay. And if we connect this back up, it's probably going to die. Yep, yeah, it died. Okay. Okay. So now we have power again, apparently. So, but what, why? Why did this suddenly just drop off like that? There's plenty of fuel over there, right? Lots and lots of fuel. We've got all the coal over here still going in. Now this is kind of jumping about 400 megawatts. Peak to peak, and this is from 1422 down to 1034, so yeah, it's about 400. So we've got a pretty big up and down swing in here. I wonder if maybe that just happened to get above what we're producing. But I mean, why is. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, where's all the coal? Okay, no, hey, coal. Okay, good. Are you doing. You doing what you're supposed to be doing right here? Sir, are these gonna die before they? No, they got plenty of coal. Okay. Well, 
We're gonna speed this up a little bit. And remember, if you have an overflow system, the fastest way to make sure that it gets filled up as quickly as possible is to have your fastest belt ever um, on your main line going through and then have a slow belt going off to the side to feed your stuff. So that's a good way to make sure that you know anything that you're building uh, will get uh, fed very, very quickly. So we're going to run this over. Probably gonna run out of these before I get over to. Yeah, not a fan. Okay, so we barely got that all the way through. And then we're about to run out of these things. This does not need to be here. All right. Paleberry, thank you. Lizard Doggo. Okay, so that's doing its thing, moving everything over as quickly as it can. Barrel nuts, I'll take those too. All right, and then can, how far can we go over with all of this? I can replace this. I might be able to replace all the belts here. Okay. Now, did I need to do all of that? Probably not. Um, but I feel better now that I have it, just because I know that this is going to try to fill in as quickly as it can. Um, and then if I really wanted to, I could overclock that uh, drill rig, because I don't think we're fully maxed out yet. In that case, yeah, so we only have one of these in here, so we'll put in one more. Just give it a little bit more. Not. <laughs> Sorry, not that it needs it, um, but this will make sure that it just backs up, like pretty much all the way back to here. Now this will be flipping on and off, which is going to kind of mess with my power a little bit, but I mean, it, it should be fine. Um, okay, so now all of this over here, we've got copper, iron, and this one thing of coal going through here. I kind of want to bring pretty much all of that over to the base because I mean there's well no hang on before I say that I do want to build a spire over here so at the base of the spire I could have a small factory hook it up maybe put in some of that compacted coal and then run some really good coal through there I don't know we'll figure it out when we get there we're not there yet um, yeah so by the time we start need to work, needing to worry about that. Uh, we should be in the final tiers of everything and then just working on just maxing everything out. But as far as why the power went out, I still don't know. Um, I mean, I looked at at the, the oil or the coal generators and they still had coal in them. So I don't know why or if they would have kicked out for some reason, but it's just weird. And then, for some reason, it seems like the light is staying on when you go into the hypertubes, which it wasn't doing before, but now it is. So I wonder if that was like a, like a hot patch fix thing, or if maybe it's a bug and it doesn't always work like this. I don't know. But yeah, so we've got this spire over there. We've got that spire over there. Um, all the spires look a little different, and I think I kind of want to want to keep with that, just having everything look just a little different because I think it makes things just more interesting. And then, uh, yeah, I need to start working on those phase three parts. So definitely need to start looking into that because then we can start uh, learning all of the aluminum stuff and then we can get our final tier of belts, which is going to be amazing. And then maybe even delving into nuclear, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, I do know 
that I want to set. Oh, hey, now we have all the lights on. So you can see that we don't have um, a light control unit on here. Like it's just basically powered straight through. But compared to like what a normal light would be, um, those are uh, they're set at a warm light, and I happen to like the warm light color, so kind of lightens everything up in here. Uh, let's turn this off. So it's not like amazing, but you can really see it through here and like see all the things going through here, which is what I want to see, because I mean that was like the entire purpose of putting this in there, so you can see all the things that are going to get synced. And then in here, it's still dark because I don't have any lights in here, but that's because I want uh, these. And I don't have enough tickets for it yet. That went up to 15,000 per minute. All right, about 7,000. Um, okay, so what is our power looking at currently? I don't like those little bumps that I saw there. That means that those are the, the biofuel generators and they kicked on for some reason. They probably shouldn't have. I'm not a fan. And I don't know what... Oh! This might be... Because these are pretty regular, right? These might be the train. You know, starting up. Okay, so we need more power, basically. So let's get a bunch of these things. And that's what we're gonna need for one, okay. And then we have 100, and then I'm gonna grab some more rotors, 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 okay. And then I'm gonna set up, I think some of these are already set up to make motors, so I'm just gonna kinda shove these in there. Okay, that's making circuit boards. Congratulations, you are now making motors. So you can go there, you can go there. That can go do its thing. Um, we don't need that, so I'm gonna have you make motors as well. I think I'm gonna need more rotors. Oh, well, rotors and stators, I suppose. So we'll grab one of these, and we'll grab one of these. And those are nearly filled up too, which is good. Okay, so 100 and 100, good to go. Okay, so those are gonna be making all of those things. I think all this needs is just some more quartz in there, so I'm gonna go and uh, grab some more. So I'll just take everything I can out of there, and then we'll just throw that kind of over here into that container. And then that breaks it off into quartz and then silica. Silica is then used to make the circuit boards. Quartz goes directly into making the, um, what are they called? The crystal oscillators. Yeah, these things. How are we doing on other things? Got plenty of that still. Could use some more of that, I suppose. Some more of that, but I think for now we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll just we'll grab a couple more, just to throw it in there. So we'll grab like three more stacks of that, and then cable was the other one. Cable, cable, cable. Grab three more of those. Okay, so there is that, and then that needs to go into here, so one, two, and three, good to go. Okay, so this is just making computers for me at the moment. Um, so this is making the circuit boards in there, we have a lot of them, and then this is making the actual computers, so I'll take some of those. Um, yeah, so now we just need to make Uh, the, the heavy modular frames. So that, 
Well, hold on. Let me just grab motors first. I'll take those. I will take those. Thank you. Okay, so heavy modular frames are going to need 800 screws at least. So let's grab a thousand. And then we're probably going to need frames. Yeah, definitely going to need frames. So I'll grab another hundred of those. Call that good. All right. What am I missing to make the heavy modular frames? Oh, steel pipes. Okay. All right, let's try this again. So we should be able to make one. Oh, we need the uh, encased steel beams too. Grab just a bunch of those. All right. Now we should be able to make, yeah, good. So we'll just make all of these. And then eventually I have to get actual production line set up for this. But like I said, I was waiting to bring over the oil and everything, but so we've got the oil over here now. So we can actually start kind of putting all this together. And then uh, I need to get the water over here too. Cause I think that's gonna make things uh, really, really interesting. Because then I can use uh, the water to make uh, the copper and iron recipes which I think will be interesting. And another thing I have to do, now that I've got a lot of these encased beams, uh, is we put uh, overclocks on the copper, the copper node that was there. Oh, we already got all this up. Okay, never mind. I thought that I hadn't done that yet, uh, but apparently I did, so good to go. So I can get rid of, yeah, that should be good. Maybe one more, okay. All right. So with that, um, we have enough to make one fuel generator, which, you know, will work, I suppose. All right, so, We've got the fuel coming through on this line here. So I think I'm gonna pump that straight up and then we might actually need to pump it. So I'll throw a pump on there as well. I mean, then again, we might, eh, I don't know. We, we might need it, we might not. We'll kind of see how it feels. Is that pumping all the way up? It looks like it is. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, and then I'm gonna need some way to actually get up there. So let's see. Let me build that foundation out there. And then we will run some stairs. There we go. Oh, that is, why are you on the bottom side? Top side, man. There we go. Now that can run straight up onto here. And now I wanna put in one of these things. And then maybe even a couple of these things. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so that should be able to go in there, I think. No? Okay. Wait, wait. I think we just needed to change the mode. And it would have been just fine. So this, mode, mode, 
mode. There we go. Noodle. Okay, so is this filling? It's got a little thing going on there, but it doesn't look like it. So I think we are going to need a pump. And that's actually 100% fine. I was kind of expecting it. So I'm going to run the pump down here. If I can, anyways. And I could just run this guy. So we definitely want to go this way. And that should be enough to pump it through. And then we can run this kind of like that. And then if we connect this to that, then that should be pumping all of that up and it keeps that kind of out of the way. And we won't be kind of covering up that at all. Okay, so it looks like that's working. All right, back up. So this should be filling up, good. Now, I wonder if there's like a max to the pumping pressure, like given uh, the tier one or the tier two pump. No, max flow rate, okay, so that depends on the pipe. So this, yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay, so good to go. And then I wanna put in another one of these, that way we have a lot of fuel stored. And then, uh, let's see, I can put in some more of these foundations. And one more. And we'll build the walls up kinda after. Okay, so, uh, organization, we'll get one more of these. I'm gonna have to make, oh, I need plastic, dang it. Thought I had a lot of plastic. Oh well. So that's filling up. Uh, we'll have a decent amount of fuel stored uh, over here anyways. And then uh, I can start kind of moving the fuel generator just kind of back and forth as I get one online you know, at the base and I can turn one off over here and then get rid of it and then use those parts to build another one. So it's gonna be a lot of running around back and forth, but you know, it's a thing. And then I'm wondering if I should maybe build the fuel generator first. So I think I only have 10 of the modular frames and uh, those tanks use up three. So I'd have to make either three more or uh, figure something else out. And that didn't kill me, so that's good. All right. And by didn't killing me, I mean, uh, I ran into the wall very, very quickly and it didn't hurt me, so that guy out, flush that out, all right. Yeah, and this, I think, once we actually get it going, is gonna look pretty nice, um, especially with like these little, you know, triangular sections here. I think it'll, I think it'll look nice. Okay, so, and then uh, all of these things are moving up to the top. I still have to get, uh, the belt work going through, uh, the, the tube tunnel thing, whatever. Uh, so that way I can actually bring in the stuff because I'm gonna use, oh, and then I also need water. So I need to bring that up there too, which means I'm gonna need more pumping. Ugh. <sighs> Man. I'm just watching that and kind of wondering like why it was down so low. Yeah, so you know, it's like contracting. You know, it's pumping again. I don't know, it's weird. Okay. Um, yeah. Just kind of get going. Definitely should have slide jumped into this. Get it going a little bit faster. Because otherwise like your acceleration when you're in one of these things is very slow. I mean, there is acceleration, so that's good, but at the same time, it's like, dude, give me more. And then those two oil lines right there, they will both be 100% full once I overclock those other oil uh, driller things. 
So we'll have 1,200 oil coming in that we can do something with, I'm sure. Um, let's see, so I'm gonna grab some more screws and I'm gonna make a few more heavy modular frames so I can make one more tank. Uh, we'll just grab this, call that good. Because I would much rather have more than less, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that'll give us five, so that'll be good. All right, so now we have 15, so that's enough for a tank and a generator. So I think that'll work. All right. Now, the tank itself is about a block and a half. So we should have enough room to get a belt out, or a, not a belt, but a, a pipe out over here, I'm thinking. All right, and then this guy, that's in out, so it doesn't really matter. Throw that there. And we barely have enough room for that. But all we need to do now, let's connect that. And now we've got 4,800 fuel worth of storage here, which I think is gonna be good. All right, um, let's see. So what I can do over here, because we didn't don't have as much space as I was hoping we would have. Um, let me throw this on here. Uh, you can actually build pipe stands on these things. So we should be able to get the belt to kind of move around on here. And then uh, we can actually replace this, I think, with the corner piece. Yeah. And we'll just kind of get that to go kind of go around and then down this way. And then we'll start feeding this through over here. Okay. And now I want to make sure that I'm getting the fuel generators pretty much even with where I think they should go. Um, I mean, I could put like another couple of tanks over there in the center, because that's basically where these are, is basically right in the center. I mean, granted, this is the center, so they're a little off center. Should I move them so that way they're in the center? I mean, that's gonna waste a lot of fuel. I mean, it's not like I'm using it anymore, right? Or right now. Um. Yeah, because it's going to bother me if I don't, so we got to... Dang it. We just got rid of all of that fuel that we had just picked up. But yeah, so let's make sure that this is in the center. And then these are going to come out, obviously. So, okay. So we have to center them on here. And we're going to go to here. see how far out that's going to have to go. Mm. Okay, wait, 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 hang on. We can do this. Um, so this is going to need to go straight over, and then a bend is going to have two. So the entrance of this thing has to be even with that. So now, if we go into here and we grab this thing, will it let me place it? So that way that thing is kind of where it needs to be. Maybe like right there. I think that's correct. And then mark two pipe. Now that can back up one, I think. So like here. Yeah. Is that centered? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So this, there we go. That looks a lot better. Okay. Good to go. So now we can get some of that fuel back. Okay. And we'll throw. 
throw in this guy. Call that good. And then we can actually center the railings over here. And then if we're going to be coming down over here, we're probably going to want to come out to here. And then we'll do the same thing over on this side. And that's just going to work out very, very nicely, I think. All right, good to go. So how, how are you doing? Filling up slowly, very slowly. Okay. So we've got all of the stuff. And so now, if we want to make sure that this remains centered, we'll throw this in there uh, for the generators, so I know not to move it over past that line. And then provided I repeat this on the other side, we should be good to go. Everything will be nice and symmetrical, and everyone will hopefully be happy. Okay, so we need to move this. Okay, so that's kind of up on there, okay. So that's red, so then we're going to back up one. Okay, so back up two. That should be where we need to go. Gives us a little bit of room over there on the edge. Okay. And then power can connect right back here. And let's see. Why does that not? No, because it's not centered. That's why. OK. That's fine. It's fine. So then we'll move that up onto there. Then we will run some power through here. And then uh, we're going to have to run some power down as well. And then also, because of the fact that we made this all match nice, um, we should be able to run this down to there. And now it matches on the other side. Good to go. Okay, so we have power coming across here. Okay, so it's basically in the center. And because these are already centered, then I'll know that this needs to go... basically here. And then we can connect that over onto the wall plug there. And then we'll put another plug down on the bottom. So we'll just click and drag this along with us. All right, now that should have to go basically right under here. And then uh, I want to put on one of these things here. Now this is just for the plugs so that way they have something to actually connect onto, otherwise I wouldn't put these here. But I want to have something that'll go on the bottom. Right there. Okay. And then we can have this over here. If it'll let me click on it, sir. Okay, so we can have this go into here. And that can get onto here. Okay, good to go. And now I, th oh, no, 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 hey, 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 hey. I didn't want to go in there. And then we could take this out, run that off of this one. Now, how does that, is that gonna work? Kind of works. OK, so now we'll get power up onto the top there. Good to go. All right, so now we're going to head back up here. We've got power going through up here. Now we just need to get the pipe going. So let's see, logistics, pipe. So that's going to have to 
go like here, I think. And then we'll run this to the middle. And then basically just as far out as I can get this to go. So let's run it to there for now. Okay, so this should fill up with fuel. Good to go. And then cross. That should fill with fuel, start running. Now we've got a bit more power. Okay, so. Yeah, we're getting really, really close to the edge here. So I think. And then this also gives us room to walk around. So that still works, which is good. Pretty happy with that. And then I might need to change this a little bit and put the cross here and then have the cross kind of go through so we can get this going around on both sides because we're going to ring this entire freaking thing with fuel refineries. Like it's going to be ridiculous how many we're going to have. And then if I really wanted to, if I can bring some sulfur over here, this I think that's what we need is sulfur. Is it coal? Coal, sulfur, both? I don't know. But we can make some turbo fuel eventually. Um, but I think we need the next tiers in order to get that. I could be wrong, though. But, um, yeah. So that should be good. And, uh, yeah. So let's uh, do the slide jump into there. There we go. High speed right away. I like it. So I said that I was gonna kind of, kind of bunny hop the uh, the generators. Given how close we were to the limit of what we can produce, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I mean, I'll do it with one just to, and then hopefully nothing will go wrong. But we'll take that guy out, right? And we'll head back up and we'll put him back over by the other generator. And then another thing that I might do is create a battery bank. That would probably be a good idea. But hopefully our power kind of stays somewhat constant. And we don't lose power. I don't... What would happen if you lost power while inside a hypertube? I mean, like, if it was real life, you would probably die, right? Because it's a vacuum inside of there or something. But, I mean, like, if you didn't have the power that was kind of moving you, then... Hmm. I don't know. All right, so now we should be able to place this one just right next to this one. Okay, and give me that and that. Good to go. Oh my god. I mean, not that that would kill me, but it would still probably hurt, right? Okay, logistics, pipeline cross, get that somewhat centered. Oh, and that doesn't need to be a mark two pipe, that can just be a mark one pipe. Okay, good to go. And then we need to get this guy plugged in. Okay, so that's going to be kind of here. Actually, hang on. Let me grab that. There we go. So now this guy is running. Okay, yeah, so we did use a bit of the biofuel right there to cover that spike. So I'm thinking we should probably build some battery backup. 
Now I don't know where I'm going to put it. And then I also don't know how big it is. But yeah, we should be able to make like a ton of these things. Okay, that's huge. Holy crap. Um, I mean, we could run these things basically all along here, right? Get some battery power up in here. And then this we could run to be in the back, basically right above these things. Uh, let me see. That's probably as close as we're going to get. That. Yeah. Okay. And then that we will connect over into there. Now these things should be getting charged. Now this will just take up the extra power that we're not using and then kind of use it to charge this. And uh, I think our discharge that we can discharge is 100 megawatts. And we can, like if this thing was fully charged, we could do 100 megawatts for an hour. So that's a lot. Yeah, and like why is, why are the biofuel generators kicking on right there? Like what, why? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so we're gonna fill all of those up with batteries. Now, batteries work in the same way as the biofuel generators. Um, the only thing is that the batteries charge off of, you know, your existing storage, whereas the biofuel generators, they work off of biofuel, right? So, but I mean, the way that, like, when they activate is kind of the same. So if you ever hit, like, your peak, um, they'll kick on and they'll start discharging a little bit just to cover the peak so you don't lose power. So, very useful. Um, I would highly advise that you use them. And then, uh, let me see, what else did we need for those? Stators and wire, a lot of wire. Grab another 500 of those and we'll grab some more stators. And we've got motors, good. Lots and lots of motors, okay. So that's good. We have enough motors to do the jetpack. We just need to package some fuel for it. Oh, right. Uh, batteries are down here. Okay, so battery. Um, yeah, there we go. And then I can go there. No, those are backwards. Backwards, they're all backwards. Dang it. Okay. Sir, if you don't mind, I would like that thing. There we go, to be in the back. Okay, good to go. So that should work out. Okay. So we are good to go now. Um, our capacity now with everything connected is 2020 megawatts. So if we get spikes above this gray line, as long as they stay below that light gray line, we should be good. Now, if we get a spike that goes all the way through here, then we're going to shut down because we're, we don't have enough power. Okay. So let me get some more fuel generators going. And 
And then for that, I'm going to need some more of the heavy modular frames, which means more screws. Okay, I'll build 10 of them. Um, probably going to need some more modular frames. Grab another 50 of those. And then uh, I think we're good on all of the other things. I could be wrong, but no. Yeah, we should be good. That's going to allow us to build 10. Good to go. And I think we need 10 per fuel generator. So, uh, yeah. And then with another one on there, I won't feel quite so bad about kind of hopping back and forth, taking out the existing ones. So hopefully that'll work out sort of decently. Okay, fuel generator. Good to go. All right, so we need to take this guy and run it from here, one, two, over. Throw in a nice 90, call that good. All right, and then we need this guy. Get that nice and kind of centered. I guess that'll work. Throw on a Mark 1 belt, and then we just need to connect it. All right, so let's see. That needs to go. Let's see. Yeah, here. And then is that there? I think that's where it is. Yeah. OK. So there is this fuel generator all good to go. And then um, I suppose we can try and do something over here with this. Is anyone going to let me put anything there? How about you? No? Nothing? OK, so how do I do this? OK, so it'll let me go from here up to here. So I guess that works. We'll run this over here, and then we'll run one in the floor, and then one directly above that to act as the rail. All right. And then I guess we can run that. Go oh, hey, not there though. Okay. Good to go. That's already there, that's already there. Good to go. Okay. So now there's no risk of me accidentally falling off of this thing because that will deposit me directly into the water below. Okay, so I think this actually works out pretty nicely. So we can put three generators over here, we can put three more generators on that side, three generators across here, three generators across, well actually we might even be able to do seven generators across there. Another six over there on that side, another seven on that side, so that's seven, 14, 26 generators. Could be good. And then 26 times 12. Get out of there. 26 times 12. So we need to make 312 fuel per minute. How are you doing? Oh, you are. You've got a lot of fuel. Okay, good. Good. Okay. So I'm going to head back over and then take out another fuel generator. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I want to slide jump into this. You know what I mean? There we go. That's a lot faster. We might have even saved time stopping ourselves and then pushing ourselves back through just based on the speed difference, you know? Okay. And we'll hop down. And then we should have enough protection 
that I can take these out without having to worry about running out of power. So uh, one thing I might have to do is build up the other side though, or I could just start kind of going around the corner. That would probably work. Probably be a good idea, actually. All right, so slide jump. Get ourselves going pretty quick. And then uh, as I get more and more tickets, um, I'll get the, uh, the glass ceilings and then I'll replace these with those. Um, of course, I'm gonna have to lay all these things out first so that way um, I can put them on there because these do not place on foundations or ceilings. They only place on walls. And since these are considered walls, that's why I can place those. Okay, so I'm gonna build these up over there. And then, um, yeah, let me see what I can do about these things. Okay, how far can we go? Not quite to there, so we'll go to the halfway point. And how far can we go over here? Okay, to the halfway point. Then we'll go all the way over to here, okay. And then we'll go one, two, and then we're ready to, oh wait, no, that's way too far. Sorry. Uh, we need to go here. Okay, so try that again. Mark two, go into here, one, two, throw that nice 90 on there, call that good to go. Okay, and then I'm gonna set these ones alongside this one going that way. All right, fuel generator, there we go. And let me see, that can go there. Good to go. Throw this one on there as well. Good to go. Oh my god. That is never not going to freak me out falling backwards off of something. Okay, and then this one can go like there, I suppose. And then this one. Can go there. Alright. So that can go there. That can go there. This can go there. And then I just need to get the power from one side to the other side. Should not be an issue. Go from here over to here. So that has to go even with this. Okay, so there's that one on. Oh, too far. Okay, that is even with this. Good to go. Okay, that is even with that. Now those are all doing kind of what they have to do, which is good. Okay, so now we should be able to grab the last couple of generators and uh, yeah, we'll move them over. And then we have to build up uh, more of the refineries uh, down over here to make more fuel. And then in the process of making that fuel, we make the uh, what is it? The the residue, oil residue, whatever that stuff's called. Uh, residue. No, not that. Polymer resin. That's what I'm talking about. And then we can use that polymer resin uh, to make plastic and rubber. So that'll be good. And then I also need to get at least some water going up here. 
and heading back there. So that'll be another thing that I have to do. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. So now we can take out these ones. And it is so much quieter over here. Skip and a jump. Get her done. All right, uh, I'm gonna need to pick up some more plastic for the new pipe that I have to run for the water. Um, yeah. But I like that we can actually color the pipes now because now it's easy to see like just at a glance what's in them instead of having to look at the little uh, joint pieces, joinery pieces, whatever. These things, right? Okay, so we should be able to fit these two over here, in here, hopefully. Uh, we might not be able to fit this in there, or maybe we can. Wait, does that actually fit, or does that... Holy crap! <laughs> that is exactly as far as that could possibly go. That is amazing. Okay, so uh, we can do more than I thought we could. So, uh, the only problem is I can't get back through there, so I have to go through over here. Uh, this one is just going to have to go off of here, I think. And then we're going to need to run a new line to connect into this one, and that is down on here. And then we will connect this side over to that side. And then we can get rid of this one. Nope. That one. There we go. Now we've got all of this. That can get plugged in. Good to go. Now we just need to give it some fuel. All right. So this can go about right there. And then that can go in there. Now, is this one going to be able to run? It is not. Okay, so we're going to go very, very quickly here. Okay, so that can go directly into there. And then we're going to run this here. And then we can get rid of this one and that stand throw in the Mark II pipeline, okay, and then replace this one with a Mark I. Now we keep our Mark II going all the way around, and then we have a Mark I going in, Mark I, Mark I, Mark I, okay. So what I want to look at now is what this is going to look like at a distance, because we do have like the smokestacks of these things kind of like popping through the roof. Now it's not going to be across the entire roof because we don't have all the refineries, but yeah, that, yeah. It's definitely what I was going for. I am fairly happy with that actually. Yeah. All right. Good to go. And then uh, because those are actually up a level, uh, when we're down here, you're not actually going to hear them that much, which is going to be nice. 
then how are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Oh, you're at 20% already? Nice. Yeah, so, like, what's what's up with this? Like, why... Why why is it doing that? I don't understand. It's weird. It shouldn't be doing that, because we're well under what we're, you know, producing. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to finish off this wall going that way if I can. It's questionable, actually. E. That is uh, definitely questionable. Okay. So two and three and four. And then we'll go with a uh, regular wall. It's not going to let me, so we'll go from this side. There we go. Um, and then we can run the foundations going through over to here. And then we'll run that one through. Okay, so that will get this all kind of sort of figured out. How are we doing over here? Lots of computers, good. How are we doing on our quartz? Doesn't look like we've got any coming in. Did we already go through all of that quartz? It looks like we did. Yeah, the generator noise is actually really pretty soft, which I'm kind of okay with. I'll just fill this thing up again. Now, this is just temporary, this whole setup here. Um, I will make something a bit more permanent for making computers, but for now, I mean, this works, and it gets me the computers that I need to do upgrades and build things, so we will get there eventually. Okay, that can go there. Let's see, that can go there, and now we need these things. And then these things. All right, good to go. And I suppose as long as I'm here, go ahead and get this going. things that is not going where I want it to go whatever it's fine Okay, so I think that is good over here. We're not going to fall off, so that's always good. And it does create kind of like the grid look that... Why are we missing that? There we go. So, and then this one is down too far. There we go. Okay, so that is good to go. Um, we are starting to kind of close in on what this whole thing is going to look like once it's all kind of going where it's supposed to go, so that's good. Um, let's see. Roofs. Or roofs with a V. 
Uh, we need concrete. Actually, I might have to think again about the fuel generator. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so it's a pure node, so it's putting out 240. I've got four in there using 60 each, so that's the 240. So then if I bump that up to the max, which is 600 oil per second, then I'm gonna need 10 of those to make the fuel. Each of those makes 40 fuel. So that's 400 fuel per, sec per minute that we're doing. And then if we take the 400 divided by the 12 that the generators use, we can put in 33.3 .3 generators just off of the fuel that that's going to make. And then if each of those does 150 watts, so 33.3 .3 times 150, that's going to give us 5 gigawatts. No, 5. Is that 5 gigawatts? No, that should be. No. 5,000 megawatts. Yeah, that's 5 gigawatts. Okay. I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so back up here to the ceilings. Do, 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 do. That can go there. That can go there. And then this can go out to here. And then we can go into the walls, grab these things. Throw one of those there, and there, and there, and there, and not there. Okay, you, sir, do not need to be there. And then to get that last one on here, we actually need to put a foundation up in here, and actually a couple of them. Okay. And then we need to build that foundation on top of here. Or not foundation, but uh, the wall thing. This thing. So that's the only way that you're going to solve or fill in that space because it doesn't register like off of the corners here. So you can't build uh, this next to this like that. You have to have something under it or something to the side of it. Okay, so next thing, uh, custom, painting that black to match the roof, or at least I'm hoping it's matching the roof. And there we go, so we still need the inverted triangles to fill that out, but you know, it is what it is, I suppose. All right. So we have a decent amount of power, which is good. How is our graph looking. So that's showing the battery percentage as well. That's interesting. I wasn't aware that it did that. But uh, that is our current production, which is 2100 megawatts. Um, let's see. So this is kind of only showing that we have, yeah, so what is what are these bumps? Why is it doing that? That's weird. All right, so it's showing that our capacity is only 2,320 megawatts, which doesn't make a lot of sense if I'm being 100% honest. Because we have a bunch of batteries and each of those are rated at 100 uh, megawatt hours. So unless they don't count towards the total, which I suppose kind of makes sense that they wouldn't. Because they're not actually generating, they're just recycling power basically, storing it for later. Um, okay. We have done a lot today. And there's still more to do. So let's see, we can make this a bit safer by throwing in some railing. 
Uh, sir, you need to zoop. Okay, and then that can go this way. Now, I need to get the uh, the inverted ramps uh, to get that. I don't know if I have the tickets for that yet, though, so I don't know. Got our lights down here. Everything's looking nice and bright. I like it. All right, and then in here is just kind of dark and dingy, but that's okay. We have one coupon. That's good, right? Okay, so with three tickets, can we buy the inverted packs? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's go and get that. Bye. Thank you. And now I can finish off that little piece up there. All right, so foundations inverted. There we go. This guy. Perfect. There we go. All right, so now I should be able to just jump right up there if I need to, and then I'm not worried about falling down here because it's not that high up, especially with that little roof there. So that will work. And then modern railing. So this guy can go this way. Okay, so now let's see what I need for more refineries. So we're gonna need 10, which means we're gonna need six more refineries, right? And I have everything I need for that, which is surprising, but I'll take it. And then we'll slide jump into there. Eat an M&M &M while I'm at it. Peanut butter M&Ms because they're delicious. I'm really hoping the microphone can't pick up the chewing sounds. All right. So we are down here now, and we need to get all of this extra stuff kind of out of here. Okay, so that is good there. Get rid of this and that. And then that. Okay, I think that'll be good. And now I need to get these things up against the wall. So that's coming through on the outside. Okay, so we're gonna have to run, we're gonna have to run this around to the other side. So that's gonna be interesting. I could do it on the inside and kind of run it up and then out. I suppose. Maybe, anyways. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Um, hmm. And then we'll grab this plastic out of here as long as I can. And then flush that. Call that good. Okay, so. Let's see, how do I want to do this? So I could get rid of this door completely, right? Because I'm, I mean, I've got the big open door on the other side, so I don't necessarily need this. Okay, so then I have to take this guy out. And then we're gonna have to run this over to the side of the building. So let me just put in the infrastructure first. I think that's up there. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. And then we'll run that through there. Okay. And then this is going to be 600 in here. So that's auto 2D noodle. Definitely want noodle. Okay. So if we take this out now and we run this over to here and then we run this guy as straight as I can in there. Place it? I think that placed it. No, that did not place it. Okay, so we're going to have to get a little creative with this. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go from here. And we're just going to basically clip right through that because then we'll have enough. And then it'll still look like it's going through there and that's doing its job. So that'll be good. Okay. And then this needs to be colored. Is that the right color for oil? No idea. Okay, so, and then, uh, okay, stop. We need to hop over to here. And once I get gates, I'm going to put a gate here because I think that would be a good place for it. Um, and then we can keep all of this over here on this side, kind of by itself. And then, uh, let's see, how much space do we need for this? Okay, so that's on the fourth block out. Third block, fourth block, okay, good to go. So we could run this over to here, technically, and then combine whatever we need over here. But now I'm kind of wondering. Well, no, 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 I can't do that. Roof is right there. Uh, I was thinking I could move this forward one more, put another fluid station, and then put the water in there, and then have the train take both the water and the oil up instead of having it run, you know, through pipes. Because then you need pumps, and pumps are just kind of annoying, so. But, uh, and then also... I'm only going to be able to feed two pipes off of this one plug because I have to go down and above. So it's immediately taking up two of the four slots. Then we have one going to the pump, and we can only feed one more pump off of that. So not the most ideal thing in the world, but, you know, it is what it is. And another thing that I was thinking, but there isn't the infrastructure for it, is to build, like, a valve system. So that way, like, you can do one you know, thing of oil and then change it out and then run water up there and then go back to oil, bring the water up or the oil up. So it'll just flip back and forth. But uh, I don't think there's a way to do that. And then also if you can't completely empty what's already up there, then it's not gonna pick up the water anyways because you still have a little bit of oil left in there. So I think that's just not gonna work. Uh, but I mean, it would have been nice. I suppose, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. All right, so we're gonna center this guy off of here and then we're gonna build, actually, hold on, hold on. We're not gonna build it centered. We're gonna build it off center because we have an even number of refineries that we have to build. And then how far off of the wall did we go? Is that like one click or two clicks? I think that's two clicks. Okay, so we'll go up to the wall. Of course, that's gonna let me phase right through the wall, so that's not really helping me out very much. Okay, so if I put that there, what does that look like? Too close. Okay that's the case then we'll move this one one closer ok 
Okay, now how does this one look? Okay, that's roughly where we need to go, so then we can take this one out. And then throw this in over here. Okay, and then two more on either side. And then one more. And then two more over here. Okay, there we go. Now we are gonna need to run the pipe out just a little bit more, which is fine, I am okay with that. So we'll just run it out to the half block and then we'll probably have to do the same thing over here. Yeah, so then we'll run this out to the half block as well. And then that should be good and then all of this is just gonna go around here, get pumped up. Oh, are you taking off? So long. Farewell. Okay. So now uh, we need to get these things, uh, the wall holes. Okay, so that'll go there. And then we need to uh, work on getting our oil around to the other side. I mean, we've already got it technically around the other side, but we need to connect it all, so. Okay. That'll be good. And then we're going to have this do the fuel recipe. So 60 in, 40 out. So the numbers should all work. All right, so you, fuel. You, fuel. You, fuel. You, you guessed it, fuel. All right, so that's that. Um, and now uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna rip out all of these walls because I wanna make sure that they're not gonna be in the way of me placing the pipes. So we'll do that, call that good. And we're gonna be in the water. Of course, we're gonna be in the water. Okay, we'll run to that as far as we can this way. All right, so that should be close enough, I think. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do now is take this pipeline. Do I have enough? So we can't quite make it all the way there. Um, I'm gonna put a wall connector on here. And then we'll stick that kind of right in the middle. And then we should be able to run to here. And then to there. Okay. And then this, we should be able to run directly in. And now for the crosses, we just have to make sure that those are kind of where they need to be. That looks kind of sort of good, right? I think that'll work. Okay, you can come back out so I can line this up properly. Looks good. That looks good. All right. That looks good. And then I need copper sheets. You kidding me right now? Uh, okay. Now, once I turn all of these things on, that's gonna add, I think those are 30 megawatts each, that's gonna add another 180 megawatts of power usage. And uh, what do we have? So that's at 1530, 1524, so that'll put us at 17, 1720. 
1710, somewhere in there. So we should be we should be good to go to turn all of those on. We shouldn't have any issues with the power, I don't think. So, copper sheets. And we'll resort you as well. Okay, good to go. Uh, are we low on anything else? Concrete? No, we're good. Plastic, good. Silica, a little low on, but that's fine. Man, this looks a lot different <laughs> than the than the last video, so uh, we've made a lot of progress here. And then we still have to build out all the stuff around here too. I'm thinking that a lot of the pipes in here are going to be water. Um, and then I can do like some huge, like massive, like water storage in there, and like make it pretty high up. And then as long as I'm running water pipes through all of the spires, like all over the place, uh, then I should be able to pull water from pretty much anywhere in the world and it should be at pressure. So hopefully that'll help me out a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, okay, and then we gotta go out through this way. Wait, no, no, no. We don't have walls over there, so we can just walk out this way. Ouch. Okay. Uh, alrighty. So, last one that we needed was here. Alright. So, get this kind of lined up best as we can. I think that looks good. Alright, and then, as I said, we're just going to clip right through the wall sockets. And then they're there just for uh, looks, I guess. There we go. Okay. And then all I need to do is replace the walls. And it's perfect. Now I just need a paint job and we should be good to go. Say that'll work. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, so now we need to pump this guy up. So, oh, it's already doing 600 per minute. Okay, get her done. So I don't have to worry about that, which is good. Take out the plastic here. Kind of building up my store of plastic. Okay, uh, why are you there? That's just a weird place for you to be. Um, okay, and then this is gonna kind of stick through over here, through the roof. Eh. It's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Plus, I don't think I'm gonna be over here very much anyways. Like, once I've got all this, like, settled, I mean, I might come back here to set up, like, more water collector, but, I mean, apart from that, I mean, what else am I gonna do? Okay, so we need to get over to that pipe there, I think. Now, something I could do is run identical uh, plugs up this side, and then I'll be able to power all of these things if I really wanted to. Um, and let's see, so that's kind of going down over there. And we've got like lots of extra room down here too, which is kind of nice. And then I still have to go through and fix all of these things, take out the platforms, put in the little V-like things. 
And then actually, speaking of, I could fix this one right away. So that's gonna go... Okay, so if that's there, so the one, two. And then this is gonna go down, one, two, three. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So the reason why this one seems like it's more of a 45 instead of a 30 is that this one is actually out an extra block or extra foundation, whatever you want to call it, uh, to handle the curve coming out of the station. And then if you look up at the top, uh, you'll see that the one over here, that last one is also kicked out an extra block. And that's just to make the curve into the station. But everything else is uh, pretty tight. Uh, okay, so then I need the little block things, beam connector. There we go. So that'll be good. And then, uh, did I not put one over here? Whatever, it's got to go roughly there anyways. So, and then this has got to go from here and then up to and then from here, and then one, two, three. And then beam connector. Beam connector. Okay, so there's that one done. Then as long as I'm here, I could probably get this one done as well. So that's gonna be down onto here. Alright, and then this guy needs to go, let's see that's roughly there, so up two, is that kind of where that goes? Or do we have to go up a third one? Or is it here? I don't know, I can't tell. Um, why is this so hard to see? It's the angles, man, they don't work. Okay, so if that is going through to here, and then that is going through to here, then we have to go up one, two, so that'll put us there. And then this one will go one, two, three. Son, you are not helping the situation with where you are right now. So yeah, there we go. And then if we ever do get the diagonal uh, things, I'll run those up the side here. And that should properly enclose everything, I think. It should. It should, I think. And then, uh, let's see, what do we have for concrete? And yeah, not very much. So that will go there. And now the rest of this I can just stand up on top of there and kind of go the rest of the way up. So that should get me settled for that. Now we need to get this settled. So, all right, logistics cross. All right, get that kind of in the right place. Now, over here, it doesn't matter so much that it is so precise because we do have a longer distance. So the, uh, the pipes can kind of move a little bit if they need to. This one's going to be interesting. Is that even going to fit? Barely. OK, so that should be good here. And then we can get rid of that little extra bit there, that little extra bit there. And then those extra bits there, okay. And then all we need to do is connect this into there, that into there, that into there, and so on and so forth.
just like that. Okay. So now the next thing that we need to do is throw these in. So that's going to be uh, interesting. And then uh, everything is kind of going that way. So let's see. Merger. I think I might end up needing more plates for this. So that needs to go that way. So one, two, and three. Okay, now we should be able to go... Actually, what do I have for these? That's a mark one. Okay, well, I don't have enough plates for that, so... 289, 317. Eh, we'll replace it with these. It'll be fine. Plus, it'll give me some more plates. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I can just replace these with that. So that'll go up into there. And then I need to get this to sneak its way into here. And it looks like it doesn't want to. So what do you do when it doesn't want to? You force it, of course. What else would you do? Um, OK, so let's see. So this has got to go, if that's kind of over there, so one two, three, four, one, two. And then that should curve directly onto there. And then, can we get this thing to curve around? No, it's being dumb. Or, will this go Let me replace this thing real quick. So can I place a merger under another merger? No, only on top? OK, that's fine. All right, so then this one, I'm going to see if I can point it into the other one. So we're going to run it yeah, there. And then we'll see if we can make this little tiny S-bend. Hopefully we can, but with my luck, probably not. Oh, hey, we can. Nice. Okay, sweet. So that just made everything a lot easier. Okay, good to go. There's that. And then we just need to build some more. Okay, so that. Now this needs to go that way. So that one is now good. All right, next. is too far over. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, better. All right, and then another merger here. This last one, we can just put in this guy, because that should curve into there quite nicely. 
So you, there. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, why did you go all the way through? Oh, what the? Okay, three was what? Regular belts, right? Yes, okay. So now hit three. Go there, okay, good to go. Now, sir, I want you to go into that one. And you can go into that one. You can go into that one. And so on, and so forth. Okay, so now the only thing that I'm worried about at this point is how much of this. Okay, so that's 30, so we're gonna be putting out 300 polymer resin uh, with all of these together, which can all be handled by our Mark IV belt, so we're good to go there. So now all they need is power. Oh, these things get powered from the front. Okay, good. So basically we just stick a pole in front of each one of these things? Is that basically how this is working? I mean, okay. Uh, center, this is gonna be off center. Yeah, by one. And we'll put that out there. Let's see, so now we need to put in another one. Let's see, in here, is that where? No, here, okay. Oh, this one is going to be powered off of this one. Okay, so if we go from here to here, through to here, then we can get rid of this one. Okay. And that means that all of these have are now powered, which is good. And that can go there, that can go there, that can go over to there. And then, uh, let's see, so then this one can go over to this one. Okay, and then that is already powered through there. Good to go. All right, so now this goes to here, to there, there. And then this one needs to feed two. Okay, so you need to upgrade to the Mark II pole. All right, good to go. So that is all of these things and they should all be doing their thing. Good. And then outputting the resin. Good to go. I think everything is working. And I'm seeing some green antennas up there, so I think we're good. All right, so that is all of the refineries uh, hooked up. Um, we're gonna be producing 400 fuel, uh, 300 of the polymer resin. Um, and then we can make that into plastic and rubber along with the extra 1200 oil that we've brought back to our uh, little hamburger in the sky. And yeah, and another thing is we are now over two hours. So I'd say this was uh, an extremely productive 
uh, episode. And then this should still be pumping out all of the extra stuff. Good. Good. And we have another ticket. Nice. Alright, so, uh, that's pretty much all I got for you for this episode. Um, we got a lot done, uh, a lot of decoration type stuff done, a lot of functional type stuff done. Uh, you've seen the train, train works, it's kind of amazing, if I do say so myself. Um, and I'm wondering if I can get that, no you're not going to let me, okay, that's fine. So yeah, I need to go through and update all of these things, so that way they've got the nice, uh, you know, angles on there being held up instead of these things. And, uh, yeah. Progress. Lots of it, actually. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one. But until then, have a good one.